I'm going to do a demonstration slash tutorial of a program that I made called Debriate. Debriate is for making Debian packages. Um, to get Debriate, you can go to Debriate source forge actually you can just do debriate.sf.net now I haven't worked on this program in over a year I don't know when I'm going to get back to it so the website hasn't been updated in a while so you can see we've got the Firefox 3 symbol and this recording I think they have Firefox 6 so to download you can go click on the downloads button and there's a direct download here and that will just um, you can download the dev package and install it yourself or if you want I have a little app repository if you want to add that to your package manager that's the repository and you can get the public key here you can just download that to your computer and add it to your um, to your public keys for the repository and after you download and install it, it should be under your start menu under programming Now, a lot of this is going to change when, at, at one point, during building this program, I I was going for the goal of um, being able to package uh, programs and stuff, being able to build packages for the official Debian and Ubuntu repositories. However, um, doing that is a little more complicated and there's a reason for that is uh, part of its security and it, and it requires building the packages from source uh, um, if I do implement that in the future uh, it will probably be a long time a long time ahead um, no are in it and it could be in a completely separate program however I'm not really all that experienced with the official way to package for Debian based systems so and I'm not I'm not an official packager or anything for them um, Debriate right now is basically just for um, building basic Debian packages for your own distribution if you want to create your own repository or just distribute your your uh, programs or artwork or whatever over the web for easy installation on Debian based systems so don't expect to get your packages into the official Debian Ubuntu repositories by by using Debriate it, it, um, they, they uh, will not accept that <laughs> or so right now you see this is incomplete there's no description here and one thing I got from one user was um, at one point Debriate it was a tabbed interface um, the pages were just tabs that you could click on to get to the different pages I thought the the um, the uh, what's it called yeah I can't think of what it's called but anyway using the, using the arrows to to go back and forth between the pages. I thought that looked a little neater, but I got from one user that he likes the tab in, tabbed interface. So, um, 
so it may go back to the tabbed interface uh, at some point, depending on if people like that. I guess it was a little bit easier to get back and forth to, to different pages if you wanted to change something. So I'm going to go ahead and, and uh, walk through a, a packaging of a of a program. You can package um, pretty much whatever you can package whatever you want. I'm going to go ahead and package a, a, a program. The program that I'm going to package is called um, Q Joypad, and um, when I was looking for Q, Q Joypad, I didn't find any Debian packages for it, so I decided to to make one of my own. Um, so I've I've already compiled the the program Q Joypad. I've already compiled it, and I've got all the files ready for packaging. So let's go ahead and get started. This first page is called control and what this is is when when you build a, a Debian package there's a file in the package called control and it has um, all the information about the package in it uh, the name of the package the version uh, architecture all that stuff so we're gonna go ahead and fill this out these these are uh, red uh, these red fields here are all uh, required. You need to have those filled out. Um, the blue is is important, but but I guess it's not required. And down here at the bottom, y you're going to see some some other fields that aren't actually usable. These fields are actually used when when you create a, a Debian package from source these are going to be I think removed in my next version because because Debian can't build packages from from source code again in the future if I ever implement um, being able to build from source uh, for the official repositories um, I may re re-implement this put this back in but for now I think I'm going to remove it because it's useless So, so the uh, name of this package, uh, the name of the program is called um, QJoyPad. So I'm just going to go. So I'm going to give the package the the same name as the pr as the program. That's pretty common. And now we need the version of QJoyPad. I don't remember that right off, but I have it uh, somewhere in here. Okay, so here it is. It's uh, 4.1.0. 4.1.0. And um, I'm going to label this version as an Ubuntu version. Um, simply because it was compiled on Ubuntu. Uh, it, it's probably compatible with Debian, but it's not 100% for sure. And uh, this, I compiled it on a x86 machine, so it, it, the architecture is an i386. Uh, source I'm going to leave blank because there's not really going to be a source package available since it's not, um, this isn't going to go into one of my repositories, so I'm not going to have the source available. Uh, the section all right, here I have some some default sections that have been that have been um, recommended, um, but I'm going to use a custom section. I'm going to call this miscellaneous. Um, I think it was graphical. Anyway, you can put in there whatever you want. This isn't an important package to the system, so it's it's optional. You can put optional or extra. Um, and it's not essential, so we'll leave that on no. The home page for QJoypad is http qjoypad.sourceforge.net. 
and the standard version is is not usable that's also used in building from source which we are not doing okay so now we'll move on to our description oh, I got some notes here that I made for for QJoyPad so we've got a short description and a longer, more detailed description. In this description I actually um, I got from QJoyPad's web page. I um, changed it quite a bit, but I just took it from there. Um, the maintainer, I'm the maintainer of the package, so I'm going to put my name as the maintainer and my email. Okay, so we are done with this first part of the control, and up here we've got some, some options. We can preview what the control file will look like. So there's a preview of, of what the control file will actually look like in the Debian package. And we can also, if we want to, save this this um, control file and save it to the desktop. Just so you can see what the, what the control file will look like. So, so in the Debian package you'll actually see a little file called control and it will look like this when you open it. Okay, so we'll move on to the dependencies.